What do you do with all your zucchini? Today I'm gonna to share with you one of my favorite chocolate zucchini cakes. It's so great, you're gonna love it. So this is one of our zucchinis from our garden. It's huge. We were out of town for a few days and came back to this lovely surprise. So for this recipe today, I need three cups of grated zucchini, which honestly is probably gonna be like one third of this. So that's all we're gonna start with for now. I'm going to just cut it here and put the rest to the side right now. And I'm going to start with peeling it. Now I actually really love zucchini in general. I love to fry it with garlic and butter, some Parmesan cheese, but this is such a great recipe and it's always surprising that a vegetable can make such delicious cake and you can't tell at all that there is a vegetable in it. And I'm going to cut down the center. Now because this one is so big, I'm actually going to scoop out some of the seeds. The seeds are really large because it's so large and this is like pulp. You can literally get your fingernails and just dig out the center and we don't really need that for this. Um, if you don't have a large zucchini like me, which you probably wouldn't, or if you want to make this during the year, not during zucchini season, you probably need about a medium size zucchini for this recipe. So, okay. So as you can see, it's really easy just to scoop it out with your fingers. You can also do it with a spoon if you want. And then the excess pulp and skin, I'm just gonna put in the compost. Okay, so now that our workstation is nice and clean again, I love working in a clean place. I'm gonna cut this and I'm just gonna get my hand grater and I'm going to grate it. You want it to be nice and thin, so it's not the thinnest. Um, like there's smaller grating tools, things that I can use, um, but I'm just gonna grate it on. The one that I do my cheese on. And you don't want big pieces, so you do want to grate it. You don't want to cut it, um, even if it's really fine. I feel like that could maybe still be a little bit chunky. And doing it this way, you're not going to notice at all that there's zucchini in it. It's really great. So you can see just from that one piece, um, like one half of what I did, uh, it's already like over a cup. So I'm going to just cut that off. It's not a very hard vegetable to grate either. It's very, it's quite soft, so it's nice and easy. Okay, we're all done here. And you can see that just that one piece of that huge zucchini, it made exactly how much we need. So this is about three cups. Put that in there. And I'm gonna just put it in a small bowl, put it to the side for now, and we'll carry on with the cake batter. We wanna make sure to turn the oven on to 350 so it can start to preheat. At this point, we're gonna start on our batter. So I'm gonna start with the dry ingredients. If you don't have a mixer, don't even worry about it. I've made this before many times without a mixer. Actually, this is my first time actually using one. So I'm gonna put two cups of flour in here to start. The handle to my one cup measure fell, fell off like, I don't know, two weeks ago. So it now looks like this, awesome. Um, so just trying to get by with that for now. I need to run out and get a new one soon. We're gonna put two cups of sugar in. Three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder. Okay, that's three quarter cups. And then to this, we're gonna put two teaspoons of baking soda in. So I already put one in and here's the second. We're going to put one teaspoon of baking powder, which helps it to rise. I'm going to add in some cinnamon, which just spilled everywhere. But I'm gonna put in one teaspoon of cinnamon. This is a really nice addition. A little bit surprising maybe, but it's very good. 
and half a teaspoon of salt. Just like that, perfect. Now here's a slightly dangerous part about this and using a mixer. And we're gonna see how this goes because I've done this before and it like becomes a big puff. So I'm gonna put it on, I'm gonna lock it, I'm gonna put it on the slowest setting so it can stir. Okay, we're good. No puff of flour or cocoa powder. While we let that mix, I'm going to get my other ingredients ready. Awesome. That should be great. And then to this, we're gonna add our wet ingredients. I'm going to add in four eggs. So if you don't feel comfortable putting the eggs directly in, just put it in a bowl first so that you make sure you don't get any shells. Four eggs go into there, and now I'm gonna put a cup and a half of vegetable oil into this. It's a lot of oil, but it's worth it. Yeah. And then you don't wanna forget your zucchini, of course. So this is gonna go in here. We actually made this cake like three weeks ago, and I'm making it again. I've made it probably, oh, I don't know how many times, but the first time I made it was probably about five years ago, and every summer it comes out because it's so good. As my sink gets full, that's okay. I'm gonna lock it again and we're gonna stir this up. Okay, this is nicely incorporated. So to this, you can leave it like this and you can bake it and it will be delicious. Or you can also add more chocolate chips because why would you not do that? I'm going to add semi-sweet chocolate chips and I've added about a cup. And you're also welcome to add in some walnuts if you want. I'm gonna do that today too. These have already been chopped, but if you get the whole ones, make sure that you chop them. You don't want big nuts in here. Just little, little ones, little guys. But again, this is completely optional and it will be delicious without the nuts, without the chocolate chips. Don't stress. I'm gonna put this in for one more mix. Okay, while this is mixing, I'm going to prep my pan. Now I'm curious because I think that you could probably make this into two loaves, um, but today I'm gonna to do it into a cake pan. So I'm gonna just spray it. I have um, olive oil here. I'm gonna spray it with you have Pam or whatever other kind of oil you wanna spray it. Put a little butter on some paper towel and rub that around, that's great. And into this. Pan. I'm gonna pour this batter. So I'm gonna put this lovely dessert in the oven now. I like to check it around the 50 minute mark to see how it's going. It could be up to 60 minutes depending on your oven. Um, our oven runs a little bit hot, so I might even put it on for 48 minutes. You'll know it's done when you put a toothpick or even a knife in the center and it comes out clean. That is how you will know it's done. So I'm gonna do that right now. And here is the end result. It was so delicious. That cinnamon really brightens the flavors. It was nice and soft. You can dust it with some icing sugar or whipped cream like we did or serve it with ice cream and you are going to love it. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Follow me on Instagram at juliemartha.home. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time.